update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We're an hour and a half into the trading day, and we got markets in positive territory right near session highs right now with the S&Ps up by 81 points. That's more than 1.5% in the green. We're now above where you were intraday yesterday, and that's before we got a 100-point sell-off to close out the session, and we reclaim 100 points plus. We're above yesterday's intraday high, trading at 53.50 on the dot as I speak. NASDAQ 100. You're up approaching 2% off of yesterday's close. We're up 350 points, 18,528 the Dow right now, up by 1.1%. Trading up 443 points, 39,588 in the Russell, up by about 9 tenths percent. Bitcoin rolling over a bit, down by 1.2%, 56,435. Crude catching a bid, we're up above $75. You're up $2.11, pennies, up 2.9% 2 at 7534. You get the gold contract up $8 at 2439 right now. We take a look at notes and bonds. And yeah, quite a pullback from where we were. Just a couple of days ago, you got the 10-year climbing back towards 4% right now. We're sitting at a yield of 3.95. We were at 3.68. You hear that? We were at 3.68, and we're approaching 4 in the span of 48 hours. Absolutely remarkable as this market tries to figure out where we are in terms of the Fed and where they're going. The two-year down about two basis points. The two-year giving up. Not almost a full point, but almost. We almost had a 104 handle in the two-year. We're back to 103.09 right now. On that two-year, we jump to the dollar index, DXY. Dollar up about 15 pennies to 103.12. We check out the VIX. You talk about pairing some of the gains, man. The VIX up to 65, and just like that, we're back to 22 as that spike, short-lived, at least for now. We jump over to the dollar-yen. And we'll talk about this coming up. Dollar yen <clears throat> catching a little bit of a bid. <clears throat> Excuse me, up to 147 after the yen spikes all the way to 141. And it seems like the Bank of Japan, they may, they may ease a little bit further than what they were thinking with the market reaction they got on the heels of their hiking path coming down the line. And they said, you know what? Maybe we'll just stick with a little bit of easing for right now, not to freak everybody out. And markets clawing back some of that Monday loss with the S&Ps up by 79 points. Steve Rhodes, he's got an appointment right now. He's going to try and make the 2 p.m. slot to do his program live, but I'm jumping back in. We got enough to talk about. I'm going to be in for the hour coming up live right now. I'm going to be hosting Steve's program, The Trading Edge, Trader's Edge. We'll come back live, folks. Stay tuned. I'll be back. We'll be right back. <laughs> 